Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, and we're up here in the in the shipping room, and I'm just going to walk you through the guitars that we're shipping out today, and uh, let you see some of the details and, and see where they're going to. So uh, we've got ten guitars going out today. Uh, eight of those, seven of those, are going to USA. Uh, one going to England, one going to Australia, and one going to Canada. So uh, nice little selection going around the world. Uh, eight of the guitars this week uh, have the wood veneer on them and two of them are carbon finished guitars and uh, I think you know that really sort of shows the popularity of our carbon or, or sorry our wood veneer guitars over the last while um, you know it's becoming more and more popular and I think the reason is just because of uh, how unique a look it gives you on your guitar you know it's kind of the best of all worlds you get the carbon construction and then when we fuse this uh, this real wood veneer to the top um, it just gives you a really signature look to, to your individual guitar. Uh, all the, the veneers we use are really high quality, um, really unique and interesting patterns on them. So, uh, so people really love finding something that just you know speaks to them. And uh, you know we find a picture in each one. We spend a lot of time just finding the the really best um, possible position on every guitar. So uh, so first guitar we have going out today was actually only ordered about 30 minutes ago. Uh, came straight up to the shipping room and, uh, and we've got it going out. So uh, this is going to Robert in LA and he had his eye out for, uh, for an X10 in this configuration with the blue quilted maple and the level 3. So uh, I think when he saw it in our stock he just jumped straight on it and it's going straight out to you. Um, so it's our level 3 system, that's the, uh, the Kribo humbucker, it's got the 6 individual height adjustable piezo saddles uh, which are really fantastic and uh, it's also got MIDI connectivity and all your onboard controls. So incredibly versatile guitar. And uh, we've uh, actually just been blown away in the last couple of weeks by um, the people who have been using these in, uh, for, for Facebook Lives. Uh, three of our, our local great guitar players have been uh, putting out some really great, um, great Facebook Live concerts over the, every weekend. And, uh, the X10 has been really special for that because it's just so good to be able to go between electric style, acoustic style, and you know, the three of them use it um, with a looping station, you know, really can build up a sound. So, X10 is fantastic for that. Um, next one up is a guitar I just had in my hand. It's going out to Darren in New York. Uh, this is a Redwood Pearl. Really beautiful piece of pearl here. Uh, lovely detail. Amazing that just how much um, uh, burl is going on here. Still has some nice uh, coloring pattern as, as well going on in it. And uh, matches beautifully with the uh, the amber carbon on the back and sides. And uh, next one up is uh, an X7 for Dennis in North Carolina. Uh, so another X7. So the X7 is our, um, our smaller body parlor guitar. It is the shorter scale length of 24 inches. So it's really nice, intimate guitar to play. So uh, perfect if you're at home right now and want to spend uh, you know some time with a nice guitar on your sofa. Uh, really great in that sort of situation, or really for just about anything. Um, finishing the green carbon, and uh, the carbon really pops beautifully onto the green. Um, this is built from black carbon fiber, but then we put a transparent color over the top, and that's what gives us this really nice color. And, uh, What's interesting about it is the light uh, shines and penetrates through the color into the black um, and uh, it really depends on the intensity of the light. Some people say they're surprised that the guitars look darker when they when they have it in their hands but uh, really it depends on the light. If we move it and the light catches it, it looks brighter and, and it can look darker uh, but uh, very eye catching. Next one up is uh, going out to Ian in Kent in England. And uh, this is our Chimera double neck. Um, this is the, the same quilted maple as on that uh, blue X10, uh, except in this one we just left it entirely natural. This is the, the natural color. Uh, you really see the, the depth of pattern in this quilted maple when it's left natural like this. Um, you see the movement in it really well. I hope that comes across in the camera. Um, it's got a really holographic, really deep look. You know, it's. Quilted Maple is one of those ones that you almost feel like there should be bumps, you know, when you touch it, you can't believe it's smooth. You know, it's uh, it's got so much depth to it. Um, 
This one is uh, also natural on the back and sides. We kept it with the black carbon, uh, with the black tuners. I think it's a really nice, elegant look. And uh, this uh, has a stereo pickup system. It's got a piezo under each, uh, under each saddle and uh, volume and tone controls for each neck here, uh, as well as a three-way switch right here. So a really great versatile guitar. And I think, you know, the double neck really shows um, the strength of carbon fiber. You know, it's uh, got 18 strings. There's so much tension pulling out on that top, but uh, with carbon, it just, it stays together, stays in tune, and, uh, you know, still a really responsive guitar. You don't have to overbuild it. Um, so this one's gone out to Bruce in California, and uh, another one of our Colton Maple guitars, and this one's the red. And you can see just the, uh, the depth in that red, beautiful color. Um, so it's X20, uh, red Colton Maple, red carbon. And uh, so the X20 is it's like our center point guitar, you know, and size-wise, it's uh, our middle most versatile guitar. Great sounding guitar in, in a lot of different styles. And probably been our best seller over the years. Uh, this one's going out to Jeffrey in Mississippi, another X20, and uh, this one with Coco Bolo. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece of Coco Bolo. Um, lovely lines running right down through it, framing the neck. And uh, I always like having the, the light colored uh, hardwood just coming right up into the neck, just somehow it carries the, the line right the way down through. A couple of really nice knots here and uh, a darker amber on the back and sides. The next one is going out to Andres in uh, Florida. Uh, this is a really unusual wood. This is a blue koto. So it's a koto veneer and then been dyed blue. And uh, it has this really interesting, um, it's almost like a, a pair of jeans or something. It's a really definitely a denim look. Uh, but really, really eye-catching. Uh, finished with the blue and then blue carbon on the back and sides. So that's our uh, our X twenty twelve string. And uh, again, you know, just like in the Camara, the twelve string it just really shows what carbon fiber is so good for. You know, people that have played twelve strings for years, they, they know the, the difficulties of uh, tuning stability and keeping your action right and everything. But uh, with the carbon fiber twelve string, it's much much easier to live with. Okay, next we've got uh, Sissy in Texas, and uh, this is uh, our X30, big jumbo guitar, and uh, also finished in the green carbon. And um, the, uh, the X30 just is that big guitar with a big sound. Uh, really, really proud of this guitar, how it sounds, uh, and even more so about how it feels, because it's, well, it's one of the biggest uh, jumbos in the market. Maybe it is the biggest jumbo in the market. Uh, it's one of the most comfortable. Um, you can see how we've contoured the side here, so it sits really comfortably into your knee. Uh, it's got the contour here, the, this rib bevel, so it allows it to sit comfortably to your body. Uh, the deep cutaway um, where we've uh, removed the heel altogether, and that really, really allows you to get way up the neck. So this is a 12 fret to the body guitar, um, which really helps with the tone and everything, but it's uh, still got the playability, you know, so you can still reach right up into the top frets. So uh, when it's 12 frets to the body, it's, uh, it's not restricted at all. Um, so fantastic guitar for tone and also for playability. Next up we have uh, Michael in uh, Winnipeg in Canada. Another X3 and this one with Coco Bolo. Now Coco Bolo, uh, if you follow our videos and what we do, you'll know how popular Coco Bolo is. We, we sell a lot of Coco Bolo guitars. And you can see why. Uh, every piece is unique. Um, it's just, uh, it's got its signature colors. It's just got all the detail and the knots. And uh, this is an exquisite piece. Uh, very hard to get Coco Bowl that's wide enough for, a, um, for an X30, the Jumbos. Uh, but we do have some at the moment. So if you're interested in an X30 Coco Bowl, uh, we have more to offer at the moment. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Really, really eye-catching guitar. Dark amber on the back and sides. Uh, really special. And sounds as good as it looks. I wish I could uh, give you a performance, but I'm better at building them than playing them. You don't want to hear me play. Uh, but 
definitely go check out some of our demo videos. Uh, another X30, uh, this one's going to Robert in Australia, and uh, this is Spalted Chan Chan. Um, I've actually been working on some Spalted Chan 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 during the week, selecting some pieces for customers, and uh, just reminded of just how amazing that veneer is. It's uh, just got such amazing patterns, uh, and the contrast between the light and, uh, and the browns. Um, this is a really great example. Uh, I really like how the guys have put matched it here, left this little V's like a little butterfly kind of going on down here and um, just the, the overall pattern in that wood is, uh, is just quite something else and uh, also an amber back and sides. So that's it for this week. Another really nice selection and uh, going out around the world. Uh, oh, one last thing I was going to tell you about is, uh, is the emerald straps. So if you are ordering an Emerald guitar, uh, please consider one of our custom Emerald straps. Um, we had a few comments from people saying maybe they're a little bit expensive, but really they're not. Uh, these are handmade um, by a guy in the UK for us. Uh, they're not a mass produced strap. They're made from super high quality leather uh, with a, a, um, a different softer leather on the back for the backing. Um, so really, you know, everything on them is super premium. The, uh, the Emerald logo and name has been uh, stitched on here um, rather than just printed on. Uh, so we wanted to build something that was really something quite special to go along with our guitars. You know, the, the two have to match in terms of quality. So uh, if you're interested in an Emerald guitar, you might need an Emerald strap to go with it. So, uh, so that's it for this week. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep watching our, our videos. Um, we're going to be putting up maybe some Facebook Lives in the next uh, while. So. If you want to see some more of that, uh, drop us a message in the comments. Let us know what you'd be interested to see. And uh, we'll keep in touch with you. We'll see you soon. Thank you.